none other than the exceptional author of, and speaker, DeAndre Cantrice. We have been talking about, oh, just, I mean, the many facets of all the different things that she's written about over the, over the years. And the one book that she has that I just love, it, it for me personally, especially <laughs> last year, because I, I got it in June of 2014, but especially last year, um, tiptoes, still toes, and stilettos. Um, it really just blessed me. And, you know, it was, of course, when I first got the book, I was so grateful, and I, and I kept it, you know, like on my shelf of the books that I want to read or have to read. And I, what I'm loving is seeing your library behind you um, because I always say leaders or readers, we, you know, we, we, the more we know, the more we need to know, right? And so, uh, exactly. and, 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 and there's something, I'm, and, and I'm, you know, maybe I'm old school, uh, and I'm all, because I, I do love the Audible app because I have it, right? So when I'm working out, I, I listen to my books, so I'm excited that your books are on Audible. Um, but, um, <laughs> but there's something very, you know, cathartic about turning a page, right? Turning a page and putting, you know, a bookmark in, and but, okay. So we so we've gone through, you know, the um, tiptoes and <clears throat> the steel toes, but now the stilettos and this right here. I mean, there's like a couple of them, but this one right here. When you know your purpose, you will discover there is no comparison. What? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Right there, just drop the mic, just walk away. But tell me, <laughs> tell me, and, 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 and let's let our you know, audience know, when you know your purpose, you will discover that there's no comparison. Speak to that. Well, it just as it says, when you know your identity, when you know your purpose in life, there's no comparison. It doesn't matter if we work at the same job, if we have the same customers, if we have the same quote-unquote lifestyle. Your life is not my life, and my life is not your life. And when you realize what your purpose in life is, and it's something that God gives you. It's not what your friends think you should do, what your family thinks you ought to do, but when you really truly know what your purpose is in life, why you're here on this earth, then you will realize that there is no room to compare yourself to anyone else. And I'll use an analogy to help bring that home. Someone once told me, she said, oh my God, I would love your wardrobe. I told her, I said, I spend about $100 a month in dry cleaning only. Wow. She said, oh, then I don't want your wardrobe. And I said, well, before you decide that you want something, you have to know everything comes with a price. And you have to, will it, you have to be willing to pay that price. So when you know your purpose and what pathway you're on, you see things differently. Um, there was a point in time where people would come and go in my life and I would be hurt or be betrayed or um, whatever the case may be. But then when I thought about it and I said, you know what, if he had not hurt me, this would have never happened. Right. If I didn't get fired from that job, it would not have caused me to do those things. So when you truly are in tune with your God-given purpose, not your personal goal, that's right. But that vision that God has given you and your purpose in life, you will realize that can't anybody compete or compare themselves to you, and there's no need for you to compete or compare yourself with others. And, you know, what do you think keeps people from walking in, you know, and, and, and keeps them from dreaming big and, and keeps them from believing for greater works so that they do not walk into their purpose? I think we get trapped. And I can only talk about my personal experience. I'm a person of excellence. And so if you show me how to do it, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it with excellence. Mm. And that doesn't, um, I don't mean to come across as arrogant no, or whatever, no, no, no. but I will give my all to whatever it is that you 
whatever the task may be. I've never built a brick wall, but if you show me how to do it, I'll build the best brick wall out there. And so what happened is I was the high priestess keeper of it all. I knew how to do everything. And so I didn't realize that if you do anything enough time, you will become good at it. And it's not that that's your passion. That's not your purpose. That's just something you repetitively have to do. And I'll give you a prime example of when the light bulb went off for me is I was about to buy a house and my credit was horrible. Mm. When I say horrible, it was 27 pages long. And they said, okay, we need to get you up to at least 625. And I will say I was at about 435. I'm just going to be honest. Okay. And I said, what do I need to do? They said, well, you might want to go and you might want to do this. And I said, okay, I'll come back. And, you know, the loan officer and the real estate agent was like, yeah, right. In six months. Six months, I took that credit report from 27 pages down to nine pages. You better say something. And Come I on. completely cleaned up my credit. They were so impressed. They said, we've never seen anybody do this anymore. And they were trying to hire me to become a credit expert. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was only working because I had a goal that I wanted to fulfill. But because... I know that that was within my purpose. I gave it my awe and my attention. And so, so often people say, oh, you know what? You're really good at that. You should do that. That should be your career. So we open up a kitchen cooking, you know, that restaurant because we cook good, but that's not your passion. That's not your purpose. You were one of five kids, so you cooked. Mm -hmm. Then you had four children of your own. So you cook. Right. So you do it every day since you were 18 and you're now 38. Of course you're going to be good at it. Exactly. So we open a restaurant because we're good at cooking rather than, you know what? My passion is really teaching. Exactly. My passion may even be teaching people how to cook. Instead, we get on these paths because we allow ourselves to get detoured because of life circumstances or, like I say, in my case, I realized there was nothing that I didn't know how to do, yeah. but there was nothing I was doing well. Gotcha. And that is the key. Once I really decided, you know what, I have a passion for teaching. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's through my book, whether it's through one of my presentations, I teach, whether it's, you know, just in conversation, I teach people how to live a fulfilled life, no matter whether it's in ministry, on my job, right. you know, on the bus stop, or whatever the case may be, and that's the piece that I think so many of us miss. We get caught up in routine instead of going for what we're passionate about. That is, I mean, I could sit here and talk to you all day long. <laughs> But I want to please tell people, one, where to find your books and how to follow you on social media and what you're working on next. Okay. Well, as she said, my name is DeAndrea Cantree. The great thing about having such a unique name, um, all my social media platforms are the same at DeAndrea, and that's D-E-O-N-D-R-I-E-A. You're more than welcome to visit my website at www.deandrea.com. And only because I think Allison is so awesome for her audience, if you visit my website and join my um, email list, I will send you a PDF of Tip Toes, Still Toes, and Stilettos. Oh. So um, that's my free gift to you for visiting my website and signing up um, for my e-newsletter, and you will receive a free copy of the book. Awesome. And so they can find you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. YouTube, um, YouTube, all of the above. Awesome. So um, Google Plus, uh, Vimeo, Snapchat, although, uh, no, not so much. I'm on Snapchat, but I'm not on Snapchat. That's you, just yeah, me too. too. <laughs> uh, you know what? My 
my kids are on Snapchat and they put my face in those little things that they do and that's all I, I, I do. But I will, um, I'll be sure on um, all of our pages that we have your name spelled properly so, pe so people can find you. Um, and tell us quickly about this new program that you have, this new online um, e-learning program. Well, what I found was so many people was asking me questions um, in inboxes or direct messages and calling me, well, how do I become a speaker? How do I publish my book? Um, how do you stay motivated? So what I did is I packaged my knowledge into um, self-study e-courses. So if you visit programs.deandrea.com, you will find um, currently I have about six e-courses loaded. Um, divided into two sections. One is personal development and the other one is business development. And if you're wondering, wait a minute, what does it take to become great um, on social media or what will it take for me to um, pivot from being um, just an author to a speaker or whether it's, um, you know what, I need to gain more confidence. I have about six courses that are already loaded and I will be adding more to it. And that way, they're online, the self-study, that you have your materials, whether you want to log in at 2 a.m. or whether you want to log in while the baby is taking, you know, her nap. Yeah. You can um, awesome. move at your own pace and collaborate with other people with interest um, worldwide. So, um, again, that website is program.deandrea.com. Well, I will tell you, it has been an extreme pleasure. We have to have you back because there's so much that we could talk about. And, you know, here on the Al Shane Show, we talk about winning, dreaming, and believing in every area of our lives. And some of those topics are, are tough to talk about, but in mm -hmm. order for us to get to where we want to be, then we have to tackle them. And so thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, guys. We will definitely want you guys to follow her. Um, she is just phenomenal and she will certainly agree with this success principle that if you want to achieve greatness stop asking for permission right and so exactly and personally everyone thank you for all of the love that you showed me on my birthday and the one thing that you all um some of you know and some of you don't but alice shane is now engaged so we were, uh, he took it up a notch and took it to the next level and shocked me. And so thank you for all the love. And um, we will be back next Thursday, as usual, 6 p.m., uh, right here on 108 Praise Radio. Have a great night. Thank you, DeAndre Cantrice, and we'll see you again very soon. All righty. Have a great and amazing day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.